Hey guys, Micah, Outdoor Living Guy. I wanted to show you this really cool job that we shot. Um, I actually shot it in studio. It was from a job we did a few years ago, but I had a lot of images and some video uh, from, from that, and I wanted to turn that into an educational video for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. It's a, it's a, a job in Lake Oswego, first edition. So here is the job. You can actually follow along with me on your own computer if you'd like. If you cruise over to my website, paradiserestored.com, and cruise to the portfolio section and then the Grove property. And then this first shot, you can see the after of what we're going to be talking about. Uh, one of the main things I want to cover with you today is three different things. Number one, getting creative solutions on covered spaces. It's really important uh, in the uh, area that we live with the rain and, and uh, some of the drizzly weather that we get to have a covered space. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be attached to the home, but it would be nice to be able to go to a spot in your landscape and to be able to um, enjoy that without worrying about being rained on. So that's what we did here. Uh, this was an interesting uh, solution that we had to come up with. Uh, because of the upper windows. It's hard to see from this shot, but you can kind of see it from up here. This is their master bedroom. And really they wanted this gable effect because it really fit the style of their home, but they didn't want to lose their window uh, and the light that that came in through that window. So I like the solution that we came up with. We actually gave them the gable, but we extended the, the outdoor space with this uh, kind of what I would call a wing, uh, waterproof wing effect. Uh, and I love the way it turned out. I think you can see uh, it turned out pretty nice stylistically. So let's go over uh, this job. I'll show you a lot more uh, covered or a lot more of the, the finished. And then we'll talk more about the second and the third points that I wanted to cover. And that is the good destination points, number two. And number three is getting some eye candy from inside the house to be able to look outside and be able to have a little bit of that eye candy. So here we go. I uh, wanted to start showing you just the before photos here. And I'm going to actually just, it's actually a video that uh, I want to actually play and I will keep it on mute here. Um, so you can see as we get to this backyard area, the the difficulty that they had with pooling water. And I'll kind of go ahead and show uh, the rest of the space. It's just a water, there's water everywhere, standing water everywhere. And I'll pause the video here and let you see the before of the house. And first of all, you can see how, what I would call ridiculous, the current uh, hardscape is here. They basically just had concrete, uh, you know, they had a retaining wall with concrete. And as you walk out, you could basically just fall right off of that unless they had the pot set up all around. Um, and then obviously a teeny tiny little covered space, uh, enough for barely two chairs. Um, so they definitely had the need for uh, some good design work uh, and creating a cool vision. So that's what we did. Um, and then they didn't want to maintain a lot. So the maintenance of the, the property was too much for them and they wanted to have it be more simplistic, also create more destination outside of the house to, to get out into the landscape. And so I think we came up with an amazing solution and, uh, and I'll continue to show that to you. Wanted to show you up, there we go. So basically from up top, you really, see all it was was lawn. Pretty bad shot here, but uh, lots of lawn and plants were not very nice. Just old landscape. It just needed to be ripped out and redone. Uh, so that's the video, the kind of the befores. I'll show you some of the after uh, shots that we did, or I should say during shots. So here's the space uh, again in the during, I'm sorry, in the before. And here's us ripping out that existing tiny groove and prepping for the structure. And you can see right underneath these beams how we had to cut the roof line. And we actually dropped the roof a little bit to be able to make room for that gable effect.
took a second to be able to, so we built the whole structure on stilts, uh, really, and then we gutted out the, uh, the patio. Then we had brought in all the electrical, all the gas, and then we started uh, raising that properly with, uh, with all the footing work. This is something I'd like to show you, and I'll show you in the after as well, is we use two different materials. One of the architectural slabs for mutual materials. Another one was the Mega Arbel uh, paper from Belgard. Now, the difficult thing with this is there, there are two different uh, uh, thicknesses. So we have the Mega Arbel at 2 and 3 eighths, or 60 millimeters. And then we have the Mega, I'm sorry, the architectural slabs at uh, an inch and 7 eighths. So it's it's difficult to work with. Forming of the water feature, that took a lot of time and effort and energy, <laughs> figuring out how the water was going to move through that. And then, of course, here is us starting to frame the fire, I'm sorry, the, the kitchen. And this is the front. I don't want to show that too much. So we're doing the door rock on the side, and then we're stoning that here. And here's us framing the fireplace. So that's kind of a little bit of the how we did things. Now I'll take you to the website and again just start showing you some of the afters uh, and the purpose behind it. Again, I wanted to talk to you about destination points. So obviously right outside of this door, we have a destination point. And there's lots of different destinations within that main outdoor living space. So we have the fireplace. You can see, you can imagine people hanging out there. You have the bar, the bar stools where people can hang out. You can imagine somebody cooking. So within that one space, there's a possibility of three or four different locations to kind of hang out at. And then, of course, we want to take you out of the landscape so you can stop and enjoy a little bench here. Fireplace is a further destination. And, of course, you have the table for dining over in the corner. So lots of purpose to get out into the landscape, not just the simplistic lawn that they had before with a small little dinky patio that just didn't get you out into the space. So I'll kind of cruise through here just for length of the video that you see all the different shots. Night shots, lighting is huge, and I'll definitely be talking more about that in future videos. We definitely want to light up the place for, uh, for after, after hours and just for those uh, evening time. This it's, uh, adds a lot to the space. So you can remember how it used to look with just lawn. There was a ton of work we had to do to get it to this level and properly drain everything, but the client was really, really happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, tour of that job. Uh, my favorite uh, part of that job is how many places that client was able to use in a very small space. They had the fireplace, the outdoor kitchen, the bar. You go down a few steps, you have that bench right by the water feature. A little bit further, you have the fire pit. Over to the left, uh, you have a dining area. And then you have a lot of area for overflow. If you have more guests over, you can set up some more tables and chairs and be able to have a nice dining area for everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that, just what we can accomplish in a small space. I, I encourage you to uh, really look into good design before you make the plunge and start buying materials or doing anything. Take the time, think through the space, think through all the purpose and the destination and how you're gonna use the space. And I'd love to help you out with that, with a good design, and then if you need it, I'd love to help you with the build as well. So thank you for that, and please subscribe to our channel. We wanna to continue to help our clients out, help people to educate them on all different aspects of outdoor living. So please let us know if we can help you in any ways. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and make some comments of what you think of this video. Thank you very much, talk to you later.